This is the brass craft zippet tool used to unclog drains, whether it be sinks, showers, tubs. And it's the tool I like to go to first to see if I can open up a slow running drain. And if, of course, if that doesn't work, then I'll do the traditional, you get under the sink and you remove the, the, uh, the clip and you pull out the plunger and all that and you, you get in there. But usually this works uh, a lot faster. So I always try this first. And it's made in America, so that's awesome. It's non-toxic, which is cool. I mean, it's made of plastic. It's got these little teeth that basically pull up hair and anything else that's clogging the drain. And all you do is you stick it down into the drain and you stick it all the way down to the edge of the plunger and then you pull it out. I'll show you how to do that. And these are not meant to be reused, but um, because they do have sharp edges, so you want to be careful of that. But uh, I do try to clean them out and I usually get probably three or four uses out of them. But again, you got to be careful because these things are sharp. And so when you're cleaning out the drain, you want to be a little careful or be aware that if you have stuck chemicals down the drain, you want to be very careful using this because when you're pulling it up, you can spatter uh, chemicals and you certainly don't want to get them on your hands or in your eyes. So if you have dumped chemicals down, I recommend wearing gloves and probably even safety glasses. So all you do is you stick it down into the drain like this, as far as it'll go, and then you just pull it up and see what you catch. It's kind of like fishing. There we go. And this wasn't too bad, this sink, but it has been running. And I'm completely bald, but my other half does have long hair. And while she assures me that she's very diligent about not getting hair down the sink. Uh, well, it's evident that it's actually gonna happen. So again, all you're gonna do is keep sticking it down a couple times. And sometimes it gets a little stuck, but that's just cause it's got teeth on it. But the teeth are soft enough that you can usually work around it. All right, just to show you how well this works in a shower, and it works real well, is um, while the tool will fit down these holes, uh, I find it easier and a better idea to remove the screws. I already took out the screws, and you'll want to make sure you use a magnetic screwdriver so you don't drop them down into the drain. And the reason I like to remove the drain before I clean it is if the tool happens to get stuck in one of these holes while pulling it up, if I pull too hard, there's a good chance that I'll strip the screws in the drain here. And now I'm gonna have a bigger problem because I won't be able to screw the drain back down. So I like to remove it before doing that. I can already see there's a lot of hair in there. Even though my other half is very diligent about not getting hair down the drain. Um, but yeah, so you can see this is why it's gonna be a slow, slow running drain. And this isn't my hair, see? <laughs> and you simply just stick the tool down there and let it go to work. And then when you're done, it's a good time to, to clean it. That seems to have been the problem. So again, this tool works real well. Hope this video has been helpful. If it has, do me a favor and like it so I can keep doing them. And uh, thanks for watching. Got to clean up in aisle five. Yeah.